Hello friends! Today I recommend my top 5 budget-friendly tools for Father's Day. Stay tuned! What kind of measuring tools do you have at your disposal? A lot of people have a tape measure, but there are plenty of things that a tape measure alone can't accomplish. If you're looking for a good gift for Dad this year, try a speed square. It's real simple, nice and sturdy, detailed measurements, perfect 90 degree. If he does a lot of shop work, you know, y you need this. It's a good thing to have on hand. If you want to spend a little more money, you can get a combination square, which has even greater details in the actual measuring stick, angles, level, it's multi-purpose for a whole bunch of things. Drill bits and drivers are very important in a shop. My set has developed over the years, and if your dad is like me, he'll use one or two bits more than anything else. As you can see right here, I'm missing my 1 8 inch drill bit. That's because I seem to bust it off all the time. In fact, just the other day, I went and picked up two replacements from the store. Do you have just random bits lying around? Why don't you go out and get your dad a nice drill bit and driver set? I prefer the ones that have this quick release bottom as opposed to um, no hexagonal base at all. They just fit my drill much more smoothly. While you're online shopping for Dad today, why don't you head on over to my Patreon page? There's a lot of ways to be involved in the Midwest Man Mountain channel, and a dollar a month says you really like the content I put out. Thanks! Has your dad been using the same loud sander for the past decade? Why don't you think this year of upgrading him to a nice random orbit sander? The oscillating movement makes sanding much easier. Nowadays, sandpaper is usually applied with some sort of adhesive on the bottom, and it's real easy to replace. When considering what grit to get, be sure to refer to Steve Ramsey's video on sanding. Perfect information. While you're buying your sandpaper, don't forget to also get a dust mask. Nobody likes sawdust in their lungs, especially dads. What does your player situation look like at home? Does dad have the same players that he's been using for 15 years and is starting to rust, and he says, man, I wish I had something that could do X, Y, and Z? Well, consider getting an actual set of pliers, and not the cheapest ones out there because the handles are going to break or they're going to rust quicker. Upgrade a couple levels and you'll be very satisfied. And last but never least, clamps. You can always use more clamps in your shop. If your dad doesn't have any, I recommend starting with a quick clamp. I prefer the Irwin brand purely because I've been using it forever. A quick clamp has a trigger to get closer to your material and clamp it, and a release to let go nice and quickly. If you don't have any quick clamps near you, regular old bar clamps will do just fine. There's a moving mechanism on the side and a screw to tighten and loosen. That'll get the job done just fine. So what do you think of those ideas? Do you already have a gift in mind for your dad? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, bye!